Two years ago, I had the crazy idea of becoming a programmer. I was going to do it completely self-taught, meaning no boot camps, no college, just me, myself, and whatever free sources I could find on the internet. I wasn't in the best financial situation, and I needed some skills that could pay the bills. So after some research, I decided I was going to set out to be a front-end developer and learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And now, two years later, I'm employed working as a front-end developer, and I still don't feel like I know all that much about programming. And to be honest with you guys, I think year one was actually easier than year two. You see, in year one, everything was new to me. I had never written a line of code before, so I was learning so much. There was so much to take in, and yes, it was difficult to learn these things. Like, learning programming is not easy. I don't care what anybody says, or whatever course somebody tries to sell you where you can learn how to code in a month. No, programming is not easy, but it's rewarding. And it was a lot of fun struggling and trying to figure things out and building new things. And I also documented all of that progress on this channel from the day I sat down to learn how to code all the way through until today. Every project I made when I got started is on there, every resource I was using, all of it. And for me, that was the most fun part. It was just so much, there was always something new to learn or new to do. And after about nine months in, I got my first offer as a front-end developer and started working away at that, and it was great. But after I took that job, things changed. Once I got my job as a developer, it became increasingly more difficult to try to code and work on my own personal projects after work, right? You know, you spend all day coding, and when you're new, it's your first job, you're just completely overwhelmed at work all day, learning new stuff constantly, that when you're done, when you're off work, your brain's just fried. Like, I couldn't do anything. When I tried to code, it just wasn't gonna happen. I had no desire, I just wanted to chill. But that slowly started to fade away after the first couple months, and then I found myself in a situation where I could code after work, and I, I tried to build things, but then I developed this real nasty habit of starting these lofty projects that are fun, that I get to work and learn a bunch of new technology with, and it always starts off great, but slowly over time, I lose interest. It starts to feel like an obligation. I start setting aside dedicated time every day to work on it, and then it feels like another job because it's still web development. Like I would still be doing something that involved web development, which is what I did all day. And I'd start a new project and then boom, it'd be just another body in the graveyard. And I was just racking up bodies one by one <laughs> throughout my whole second year. I always had some ambitious new project and I'd use a new framework or a new technology. You know, I had a Firebase project, Next.js project, I'd TypeScript. Like it was always something new and different that I was learning and trying to incorporate with a new project. But once it started feeling like an obligation, once the new shiny toy effect wore off and I was back to doing basic web development. I was like, what? I do this all day. <laughs> and I would just drop it. And it became a really bad habit that I had to break. It actually kind of trickled over into other aspects of my life where I would start stuff and not finish it. And I had to nip that in the bud. But it also created a bigger problem for me. I loved showing my progress, right? I made this channel just showing my progress and showing my evolution throughout me learning programming, right? Like they're pretty much devlogs. And I had less to show once I got my job and became employed. I mean, yes, now I'm building websites that are in production, you know, being used by companies, but, there's a big but, I can't show them off, <laughs> you know? I don't wanna put them all over my YouTube channel. Not because I can't, but because I've seen what these people will pay influencers to talk about their product, and uh, <laughs> I'm not talking about them unless they throw a bag my way, <laughs> all right? But that was like my favorite part of this channel, was just sharing with you guys what I was building and learning. And then, I don't know, I feel like recently all of that stopped. Eventually it got to this point where after work, I wanted to code. I wanted to build something, right? I wanted to program something. But when I fired up my computer and just sat there in front of my IDE, I, I didn't have it in me. Like, I didn't want to do any more web development for the day. I was done. I just done that for eight hours. I'm done. So I would just go off and play League of Legends or something with the friends or play some other video game and just chill for the rest of the day. Now, I love my video games, don't get me wrong, but I'm also aware that they are like a black hole for time, especially the games that don't end, like League of Legends or Valorant, Counter-Strike, those games that you just play over and over and over again. Man. And when you lose in those games, it never feels good. You just feel like you, you wasted your time. So I'd jump on the game with the boys, we'd play, we'd have a rough game, and I'd be sitting there afterwards like, man, I could have done so much other stuff instead of losing in this game. 
And after that happens enough, you just start to, to get to a rut, man. But then a couple of weeks ago, one of my friends reached out to me. He just started learning JavaScript and he was building a Simon game. Now, I think this is part of like the Angela Use JavaScript course, but I'm not sure. I'd plug it if I knew for sure, but I'm not. He just needed my help on a function. That's it. <laughs> so I looked at his function and I was able to help him out. And helping him fix his Simon game was some of the most fun I've had in programming in months, right? I was like, oh, this is cool. This is, this is what programming is. I completely forgot about this part. <laughs> so after that, I was curious, right? I started looking into game development and I did some more research. I looked around and I found that Unity was one of the best starting points for learning game development. So I started to play around with making games in Unity and it has been some of the most fun I've had in programming the entire second year I've been doing this. Like learning game development has been a breath of fresh air. It is so fun. And this is coming from somebody that's tried like everything, every fad over the last year. Like I, I tried the blockchain thing, eh, couldn't keep my interest too long. You know, I learned new front end technologies, but I kind of just overwhelmed on that. But there's something about game development. I don't know what it is. I never really used or really understood object-oriented programming. Like, I never used it on the front end, so I never had a need for it. But game development is like all object-oriented programming. So that's been really fun to like figure out and learn. And now I feel like I'm really good with it. So side note, if you guys want to learn object-oriented programming, play around in Unity. <laughs> Not even enough to make a full game. Just, just make some things jump, make some things move. You'll start to pick up on things really fast. But that's been really cool. And I've also been learning a lot of C-sharp because that's the language that powers Unity, essentially. And this works out really great because learning C-sharp was one of my five-year goals. And now I'm getting to learn C-sharp while having fun, which is huge. When you have fun programming, it changes everything. But the best part, the best part about game development that I've seen so far is the instant feedback. Like when you write a function that makes something jump and you go into like the game editor and you make it jump, it feels amazing because you get instant feedback right there. If you messed your function up and he jumps into outer space, you get visual feedback immediately. If he jumps and gets stuck on a wall, immediate feedback. And then you get to go in and fix it. And man, it's literally been the most fun I've had programming in a long time. And that's now where I stand at the end of two years. <laughs> Year number two was a lot less focused. I've, I have been everywhere. I have touched everything. I have just ping ponged around the world of technology and programming. And I feel like at the tail end, I kind of found my way and now I know where I'm going. So going forward, I'm going to be dabbling with game development and sharing some updates on the channel. This is, this is seriously some of the most fun I've had in a long time. I don't know if I've said that enough, <laughs> but I'm really enjoying it. I'm also going to be streaming on Twitch. I'll have a link to the channel posted below. I'll be streaming some game development and me playing some games. So if you guys ever want to stop by a chat, hang out, come holla at your boy. Uh, join the community discord link is below subscribe like the video you guys know the drill and i'll see you in the next one peace